So the whole idea of quantum jumping, I understand that that's probably something that a lot of us are struggling with. Like, just like, you're kind of like, what do I visualize? Okay. Like what, what am I supposed to be visualizing? Okay. I understand for those of you who don't know what it is you want to be or what it is you want to look like. It's a little bit harder because you're like, well, I don't know what I'm, what I'm supposed to be visualizing. Okay. And I know, like I said, I know some of you guys like, what does this have to do with relationships? My point being is you can also visualize that for a relationship. So I know a lot of you guys, at least most of you guys know what type of relationship you want or what type of relationship you want to be in. So at the very least, even if you don't yet know your purpose, you can at least visualize the way you would feel or look when you're thriving in a healthy relationship. We can at least start there. And if you don't know what that looks like, you got to do that first. Okay. Right. I encourage you guys, right, who don't know what you, if you feel like you don't know what your purpose is and you don't know what you want in terms of a relationship, like you don't know what your, you want your future relationship to look like, feel like you don't know what your partner, uh, you want them to be like, like if you don't know, if you can't visualize those things, I encourage you to sit down after this, this will be your homework. I encourage you to sit down after this at your desk, at your dinner table, whatever, and write down, just write. Don't focus on how long, how many sentences, this and that. Just write all the things you wish you had, okay, in a relationship. Just just write them down. Just keep writing them. Just keep writing them until you your picture becomes clearer and clearer. Just things you wish you, even if you're not even sure if you would enjoy them, whatever, even if it's just things you saw in a movie, even if it's things you just saw in a TV show and you're like, oh, I would love to have that. Even if it's something small, like, oh, I'd love to have um, a five bedroom house in Dallas, Texas. I'd love to have live in a mansion with my husband in Paris and Germany and wherever. Okay. Like, even if it's that, even if you feel like it's unrelated to the relationship, okay, just keep writing, just keep writing until you finally feel like you have a decently clear picture of what it is that you at least wish for. Okay. Let's not even say this. Let's just say wish for wishes. If I was a genie, right. And I'm just granting you wishes as it relates to your relationship. What are you going to be wishing for? Okay. Write those, all of those down. Okay. That's an easy place to start. So, because once you start writing those down, you can create a clearer picture of what it is you want, at least in your relationship, at least in your relationship. Okay. Right. And then you can do the same thing, but for your life, I just want you to pretend as if a genie is right in front of you, asking you, right. What your wishes are and telling you that they will grant any of your wishes that you desire. You just got to write them down on this piece of paper and you have to be specific because the genie will grant you exactly what you ask for. And if you ask for something general, the genie will grant you something outside of what you actually wanted. Okay. So for example, if you say, if I was to put on my wish list, I want a toy. You can even, if you, if you have to write, I wish just to make it easier for yourself, you can write that. Okay. If that's what you need to make it easier for yourself, you can put down, I wish, and then proceed to write down anything else that, that you want or you wish for. Okay. Now, if just pretend, right. That if you don't, if you aren't very specific, the genie is going to get it wrong. So if you put, I wish for a toy, right. That is super vague and super general. The genie could come back with a stuffed animal, the size of your fist. And you'd be like, that's not what I wanted. Or the genie could come back with a, a, a toy airplane that costs $10,000, a remote airplane that costs $10,000. Okay. So I just want you to understand when you're wishing for these things, right? When you're putting out this wish list of the things that you want, the things that you desire, you need to be ultra specific. I don't, I don't care if you write down the amount of per the percentage of polyester and cotton that you want to be inside your couch. Okay. Be that specific, be that specific. I don't care if you want to tell me the dimensions of your kitchen countertop and the color of the granted granite. Okay. I don't care if you tell me exactly how many designer fur coats are sitting in your closet, what direction they're facing 
as it relates to the North Star. I, I don't care if you want to tell me how many Louis Vuitton shoes you want to be in your closet and how they're going to be color coordinated from darkest to lightest and how they're everything, every single detail. Okay. There's no amount of detail that is too much. Okay. You just keep writing. Don't stop writing. Just keep writing. Just keep writing. Keep writing until you feel like you can't write anymore. Just keep writing. Keep writing. When you feel like you can't write anymore, write some more. Right? When you feel like you put everything down, write some more. When you feel like you've made every single tiny detail, add some more. Okay? Until you have a wish list that is so detailed, so specific, you can literally create a movie out of it. Okay? Everything is so detailed and so specific. It is literally, it, it, I want you to write down the store you're going to get each item from. Write down the location of the store, the address, the zip code that you're going to get each item from that's going to exist in your house or in your class. Keep writing. There's always more detail to add. You write down as much detail as you possibly can. What's going to happen after you do that, you're going to end up with a list that is super specific, right? And when you read through the list, you're going to see for the first time what you want for yourself. Going to be crazy because I know for some of you guys that are unsure that don't know, you'll be like, damn, this was inside me. Like, these are my desires out on a piece of paper. These are my like, this is me. This is my soul out now on a piece of paper. I can see it like it's here in front of me. It's physical now. I can touch it. Anyone else can read through it and have a clear understanding of what I want. This is good. This is great. This is awesome. Okay. All right. This is awesome because now, now, now when they tell you to visualize something now, when they tell you to picture what you want your future to look like, you can actually picture something and you can picture it very specifically. OK, even if you're going to say, OK, um, I wish to be making a lot of money. OK, how? Right. You, you Like you're not just going to sit around on your couch eating potato chips and make a lot of money. OK, so if you want to make a lot of money. Right. And that's part of your wishes that you want to be granted. That's fine. But then also go as far as saying how you're going to be making that money. You're not going to be making that money sitting on your couch. How, even if you say, I want to own a business making that money. Okay, cool. Own a business. What is the business? Okay. Go a step deeper. Okay. You should be able to visual. This is your wishes. You should be able to visualize how this is happening. At the very least, you should be able to visualize how this is happening. Right. There's nothing wrong with saying you're going to make a lot of money. There's nothing wrong with any of that. Right but you should know how it's going to happen. Okay. And that's so, and that is, so the same thing applies. If you're unsure of what it is you want for yourself, I would say before you do the meditation, because I wanted you guys to at least try it then see how you feel about it. Once you see how you feel about it, then we can go back to the drawing board and adjust some stuff. But I wanted you guys to try it first. The same thing applies as it relates to your life. Just start writing down as if I'm a genie, is it, or is, there's some genie. Let's just pretend it's me because I'm talking to you. As if I'm a genie and I'm telling you, I will grant any wish that you want as it relates to your life. Tell me what you wish for and write all of those things down. Just keep writing all the things you've wished for now, later, and forevermore. You write them down on your notepad or whatever as all the things you wish to have and you uh, all the wishes that you wish to be granted for your life. Okay? and write those things down. That will at least give you a clearer picture of what it is you even want, okay? And like I said, there's no boundaries to this. So I'm not gonna say, oh, you can't put down money, you can't put down having a big house, you can't put down kids, you can't put, no. There's no boundaries. Just keep writing everything that you could possibly wish for, but be specific. That's my only, that's my only rule, is when you're asking for these wishes to be granted to you, you have to be specific. So like Bonnie said, Bonnie wants to make a bunch of money. And I'm sure a lot of us would love to make a bunch of money. That's, that's generally the goal for everyone is to make a lot of money. That's great. 
but then you need to be specific about how you want that money to be made. It can't just be, I just want to sit back in my house and do nothing and make a bunch of money, right? You can say, I want to create a business that gives me passive income. That's fine. Okay, that's fine. That's a good start. That's specific. But then go a step further. What is the business? What is the source? Where is it coming from? Okay. Don says, I kind of want, I kind of just want to marry a, a rich man that I'm attracted to. Okay, that's fine. He, listen, this is what this is what I'm saying, guys. Even if what you wish for, right, is something like Don said, which I don't advise that your wish to only be to marry a rich man who, who you're attracted to, but I'm saying let's not even put boundaries on it. Even if that's your wish, be specific with that wish. Okay. So what I mean by be specific, right? Is tell me where you want to live with that man. Tell me what you want your house to look like. Tell me how many children you want, right? Tell me what you, the characteristics that you want him to have. Tell me the personality traits you want him to have. Tell me what you want your relationship dynamic to be. Tell me how long you want to be dating before you get married. Tell me where you want to get proposed to. Tell me how uh, much many dates per week you want to go to. Tell me what type of travel experiences and, and, and places you want to go and things you want to do with your significant other. Get specific, okay? Lover May said how he acts around you. Yes, how he treats you, his fight language, how he resolves conflict with you. Give me all the, tell me the color of your couch, okay? Tell me the inches of your TV. Tell me what your bedroom looks like. Tell me the setup of your house, right? Okay, T I, I want to know every single little detail, okay, of your wishes. Pretend that if you make your wish general, right? That girl says it's inches, it's inches, whatever you want, everything, his foot size, his shoe size, every little minute detail, okay? Whether he had braces when he was, I want you to come up with every single detail you can possibly come up with as it relates to your wish. Even if your wish is general, like I just want a rich man or I just want to live a comfortable life, okay? That's fine. How do you want to live this comfortable life? Give me how. Be specific, okay? Write those down, okay? Because once you have that, if you're struggling to understand what it is you want, right? Once you have that list, at least now you can read through your list. And when you're going through these meditations and these meditations are asking you to look towards your future self as, to, as that's living the life that you want to live. At least now you can have a better understanding of what that life is. Lover May says, how many kids, the house, cars, where you're living, what job he is working and more. All of it. Perfect. All of it. Every And the thing about it is, once you write, start writing and you get your mind flowing, right? You'll start thinking, oh, okay. Yeah. I like this. Oh, I like that. Oh yeah. I do like that. You don't even have to have experienced it. Like I say, even if you've seen someone else living that, or you've seen it on TV or you've seen it, or you have a friend that lives that life, right? Anything that your heart desires, this, these are your wishes, right? You just go through, just write them all down. Just keep writing. Don't stop. Don't give yourself boundaries. The only rule is that you have to be specific. Tammy said, we also have to be realistic. No, I don't want you guys. I don't want you guys to have any boundaries in this creative process of understanding what your wishes are. There's no boundaries. You don't have to be realistic at all. If you say, I want to live in the bottom of the ocean with my husband and uh, our kids, sure, whatever it is, whatever your heart desire, don't give yourself the constraints of having to be realistic because this is still the brainstorming stage. I'm, I'm referring to when you're still trying to understand what it is that you even want in a relationship and for yourself, okay? This is still the brainstorming stage, so there are no rules. Don't be realistic based on your circumstances. Don't be realistic based on where you live. Don't be realistic based on uh, how many eggs you think you have left. Don't be realistic based on anything, okay? Life is not realistic, okay? Your physical reality can change into anything you desire, right? Don't focus on being realistic, right? You can dream. I'm giving you permission to dream. Allow your inner child to come back out. That's the problem is that a lot of us have stopped. A lot of us have suppressed our inner child as time goes on, right? And we've suppressed our ability to dream and just started living in a world where, okay, I'll just take what life gives me. I'll never desire or want something for myself. I'll just allow life to happen to me, right? 
And that's the first mistake. That's how that's how all of this gets killed. That's how you find yourself in a position with a life that you don't enjoy. Right. Because you stopped yourself from dreaming or you've stopped yourself from believing that you're allowed to dream or want things that feel unattainable or feel hard to retain or feel far out. Right. You suppress that inner child that wants to dream and wants more and wants big things and wants to do big things and wants to try different things and wants to go out and fail and succeed and experience, right? Because you're so focused, you start putting yourself as you grow older and older and older, you become more and more rigid and you start putting yourself in a box. I can't do this. I can't do that. I'm not that smart. I'm not that intelligent. I'm not that capable. I'm not that pretty. I'm not that beautiful. I'm not that attractive. I'm not that desirable. Nobody wants me. I only get bottom of the barrel guys. I only get bums. I don't attract anything. I don't know. So shall it be. I don't want you to even focus on is this right to wish? Is this wrong to wish? I just want you to wish. Now, I'm not saying you should wish for your ex, okay? Because if you broke up, there's probably a reason for that. But what I'm saying is there's nothing wrong with even using your own experiences to understand what it is that you want, you like, or you don't like, okay? So if you have to use your ex to say, okay, I really like that my ex was super communicative or super emotionally intelligent. I'm going to put that down as one of the things I wish for in my future, right? You don't have to wish for the person. You can wish for some of the qualities of the person, okay? So what you're essentially trying to do, you're building your life you're not attaching your life to any one particular person, okay, right? So you're not saying, oh, I want to date The Rock or I want to date Ashton Kutcher. I want to date Brad Pitt. What? You're not saying that, okay? What you are doing is you're building the life that you want to live as you want to live it, okay? Because the first step to visualization is to know what it is you're even trying to visualize. Just keep writing. Don't ask me how long you make it. Just keep writing all your questions about two sentences, three, a paragraph, a page. Should I write down what I what I wish about my 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 job? Should I write down what I wish about my career? But all of it, all of it, all of it, all of it. The more you ask questions, the longer you're wasting time and not writing. Just write. You want to type it out? You can type it out if you're not a if you don't have good handwriting. Okay, for some of you guys, I'm probably gonna type it out. You wanna you wanna handwrite it? You can handwrite it if you need that um connection with the paper to actually feel like you know you're getting closer to your soul. Some people are like that. Okay, you gotta you gotta get it out. You gotta get it out so it's there in a physical form. You can hold it in your hands. You can see it. You can feel it. Okay. Because that makes that brings it one step closer to being real. Everything that you put on that piece of paper, right, has actually become one step closer to being real when it's finally on a three a physical three dimensional piece of paper. Paper is three D, even though it doesn't feel like that, right? You've now put it into one step closer to being a physical reality because now it's on a piece of paper in writing. Very simple. And I don't want you to think so deeply. A law of attraction, manifestation. What are we trying to just write your wish list as if a genie is granting all your wishes. You just need to be specific about what your wish list is. Just be specific. That is your only rule. There are no boundaries. Just keep writing everything you've ever wished for in your life, in your relationships, all of it, in your job, career, all of it. Just keep writing. Don't stop writing. Be as detailed as you possibly can down to the um, to the thread count in your clothing, everything, okay? Everything you write down, everything. I don't care if you say, I want a closet full of designer. I want a closet full of this. I want a closet full of that. Write it down, write down the color of everything, write down how many, write down how big the closet is, okay? Even if you, even if you want to describe to me your partner, I want my partner to be six foot three and two thirds. I want my partner to have broad shoulders. I want my partner to weigh 190 pounds. I want my partner to be of Dominican, Puerto Rican descent. I want my partner to be Nigerian. I want my partner to have a dangle earring. I want my partner to work in finance. I want my partner to be a CEO of a, the, a cupcake business. I want my partner to own a cookie shop. All of it. I want my partner to have, uh, I wish for my partner to have uh, 32 teeth, two of which have been pulled as wisdom teeth. So now he only has 30 teeth. I want 
I wish my partner had braces when they were younger. I wish my partner weighed a lot when they were little and then lost exactly 45.3 pounds as they grew to be an adult because fat people are usually funnier and have better personalities, but now he'll look like a model, but he'll have the personality of a fat guy. All of it. Everything. You just keep writing. You just keep writing, okay? I promise you, you, and the, and the most amazing part about this, you will actually discover that there are a lot of things that you want that you didn't even realize that you wanted them 